We're here at the Menatech stand at IDEF 2019. We're talking to Naz Unul, and she's going to tell us a little bit about Menatech as a company and what the exciting developments it has coming up in the future. I'm the Business Development and Strategy Director of Menatech Defense Technologies, and I've been working here um, almost seven years now. And what we're doing is that we are uh, we design and manufacture subsystems for the armored land vehicles. Uh, we're not only focusing on one type of vehicle; we do we work on all types of actually. And then uh, we also have our own group of um, products such as bearings, straddle bearings, metal on metal. And we have a new product we just launched yesterday, which is an armoring system. So I understand that you provide parts for various uh, prime systems, such as the Abrams main battle tank, the Leopard 2 main battle tank. Yes. Um, which is obviously an integral part of every supply chain. Can you tell us a little bit about that, the parts you provide, and also the capabilities that you have as a company? Because I understand that you can manufacture from the raw materials yes. to those parts. Well, we're not manufacturing the raw materials. We're supplying, we're buying the raw materials. But what, what we do is that we manage the largest supply chain of Turkey. We have uh, nearly 1,000 suppliers under our roof, which works integrate, integratedly uh, with our control. And we supply directly to the U.S. Army me. We also uh, supply as a subcontractor to the U.S. Army for many years now, and uh, we have a lot of parts on uh, for M1 Abrams, uh, M113 Bradley as well, and M60, and all most of the M series. I can say. Uh, currently, we're supplying torsion bars for the for the M1. Uh, in the past, we have uh, supplied a uh, rotary damper, uh, which is a part of the suspension system for the M1 Abrams, directly to the U.S. government as a prime contractor. And uh, we, uh, we're also now working on uh, power takeoff uh, transmission, PTO. Uh, yeah, we're, we're also going to supply that to the U.S. Army. And uh, we are also working on some, uh, both Leopard 1 and 2. Uh, we're also working on Puma in the past. And um, yeah. That sounds great. So you, you're obviously a capable company. Yes. Lots going on. Tell me a little bit about the bearings, uh, the development process that you went through for them, and and what what's coming up next for them. Well, uh, it has a it has a um, interesting story behind because it was uh, exactly two years ago in IDEF when when we met um, one of the huge companies, a prime contractors of of. Um, this uh, sector and they uh, they actually requested us and that, that was a huge challenge for us because we only have uh, one competitor uh, internationally on for this uh, field uh, but we took the challenge and it only took up took about like six months for us to develop this technology and uh, now we have the, uh, the lowest rate wear rate uh, around the world for this product so we're, we're quite well and we just finished the field test and the field test has been uh, made by Patria uh, it was the the bearings got tests on the vehicle and uh, we turned out to be like we we passed the test so um, seems like we're gonna be um, selling these uh, products all around the world not only to on the defense side but also on the railway and aerospace so it has a lot of ap different applications where we can use this uh, that's very interesting it's exciting times for you tell me a little bit about the armor system that you've unveiled here well, um, the armors is also, um, they're, they're quite new to us. So we tested two different um, technology and uh, in, according to the Stanek 4569. And uh, we passed the test. Uh, we're, we're, we're giving level three and level four. We tested, we did edge, um, edge testing, edge shots, and also multi shots as well. And um, we're also, we also have the level five ready to be tested, but uh, we only have just a month to do that. We couldn't do it here at the moment, but the test results were amazing. Uh, by far, we have heard that we, uh, we were the best until now, and um, we also trust ourselves on the, on the armor side, and we're getting ready for not only five, but also hopefully uh, six in the future as well. We look forward to that too. And one last thing, you, you hinted uh, yesterday at uh, some new software that you're developing. Can you tell us a little bit about that without revealing all yes. the secrets? Uh, well, th that's, uh, we're, we're trying to keep that as a secret for a little more while, but I can talk about it just briefly. Uh, we're actually going to launch that uh, software at DACI London at uh, September. Uh, that is a, that is a, something that um, excites us very much, actually, because uh, we want to change the perspective of, of the supplying system at the moment, because uh, 
defense is, is something else and uh, that requires a lot of quality and a lot of know-how and also um, some more layers of, of, of different than just a um, random um, manufacturing for a component. So what we're trying to give in, on, on, on our um, software is that we are giving an integrated manufacturing solutions under the control of an um, expert team of engineers and quality inspectors. But what we are giving is that the full control to our customers where we are um, giving the full control of the information and full control of the, uh, the tracking of their um, orders. So, uh, so we, instead of just saying like supplying or manufacturing, we put this um, on the field as a as a, f a, a premium service of an integrated manufacturing solutions, and it's an, uh, we're only focusing on the high tech manufacturing as well. That's great. Thank you so much for your time, Nas. Perfect. Thank you. Very much, Thank you.